uh, as you've heard, most of his contemporaries describe him as sly, dishonest, and treacherous. That's how he survived in public life. And by pursuing policies that were sometimes detrimental to the ultimate public good on the basis of what the most powerful faction at the moment desired in order to maintain his own position. I can't tell you that Stanton was without redeeming qualities. I can tell you that evidence of those qualities is very difficult to find. <laughs> he was good to his mother. I'm pretty sure he never beat his wife. But in the realm of public service, his motives seemed more often selfish than benevolent, and his actions more pernicious than beneficial. He may well have cowed opposition to the Lincoln administration, but probably not enough to make a difference in the outcome of the war, but certainly enough to leave us with a greater legacy of wartime repression than is comfortable today or was even necessary then. <laughs>